What is up guys, it's The Real Deal, welcome back to the channel. Guys, today I want to do a video on the story mode in Eternal Evolution. Um, for me personally, I did hit a wall here. I was stuck on chapter 63, 65 for a long time. And I'd keep coming back to it and just couldn't progress. So I just left it, worked on my account, and then we hit it hard last week and we've gone from 65 to 93. That is a massive jump um so i wanted to sort of share all my tricks and tips with you guys and talk about how we did this and it's not just a few things it's a lot of things that you need to sort of put in place to bring it all together to help you to progress through this um we also unexpectedly got a notification we are number one number one on the server um for this so you know the next is 90 so that's three chapters and then if you sort of scroll down, we sort of get to 76, 75, and that's the top 10. And below top 10, people are struggling to break into 60s. So I'll sort of share all those tips in a sec. One thing I want to say as well is that you can see all these FS um, players. They are our arch rival um, guild, the Street Fighters. And even though they're our arch enemies, I do want to give them a shout out because I have treated myself to a new t-shirt absolutely love street fire love ryu so even though they are our rivals i did just want to share that with you guys quickly and so i'm just getting some pop-ups from antivirus yeah jog on um but yeah just wanted to share that with you guys because i don't know i like it it's, this is actually my new favorite t-shirt absolutely love it but yeah so big shout out to the street fighters you'll never beat us <laughs> so let's get back into it and start to look at the team comp and everything else that we've done in place to start to progress through this. Um, so the first thing is we've got Orthan as our tank god tier. This guy has carried me so hard on the account. He brings so much, he can self-revive. Um, he can also summon sort of copies of himself when um, other heroes die. Healing, um, cleave, and like um, CC as well, he's doing it all. Then we've got Jax as well, sort of bringing in some big damage. Deja bringing in damage as well. Uh, Anpu at the back, obviously like absolute god tier, like probably the best summoner in the game. Does massive amounts of damage, but also brings in a stun and a pushback as well. And then we've got Alu, who's just, I've just brought her into the team and she is really getting work done. Like big heals, keeping everyone alive. An amazing support champion. So first thing I'll talk about is placement. Placement is very, very important. So of course, you want your tank up front. We've got two summoners in the middle. So if I click on my commander, you can see they're getting bonus stats by being in the middle. Um, I'd love Anpu to be in the middle, but you want him in the back. If he's in the middle, he's quite squishy. So he might get dropped. So the reason he's at the back is that they've got a lot to get through first before they can get to him. And he can just pop off and drop people and that's what we want we want Ampu at the back and he doesn't need all these buffs to get stuff done he's doing it anyway he's a beast um then obviously we want our support at the back because she's just gonna be sitting there healing everyone and, and that's it that's all she's gonna be doing for us so then the next thing is prototypes prototypes are massive in this so the first thing was i managed to pick up the dominant nucleus any sort of um i can't remember what they're called Gene shards. Oh my god! All right, guys, I'm gonna have to jog my memory. You know, when you play multiple games, it's hard to remember what everything's called. Ah, oh, crystals, universal crystals. So the universal crystals, I pumped every single one of these into my summoners, and it's probably the best thing you can do, especially for the dominant nucleus. Um, for summoners are hard carries, every part of content, PvP, PVE they do it all um even in like stuff where it says you need to use these champions i will use my summoners and they will get the job done so yeah pumped everything into this and um yeah even like for the awakening i think this is plus five now or plus six but i've put everything into the dominant nucleus we're picking up crit rate we're picking up crit damage all of this works together 
and yeah your damage will just go through the roof and yeah summoners hard carry next thing is the ruler's ring i've only just picked this up it's only got one awakening uh, but it is at level 60 again i focus on dominant nucleus first that damage and then start to put everything into the ruler's ring and this is great so we're getting healing from it as well for our summoners and we're also dis like basically when we take damage we share that amongst the minions and it helps keeps our summoners uh, alive we also want to pick up amber armor uh, i love this one so our summoners our tanks and our support so all three of the heroes that we're using are going to get this benefit of taking 16 percent less damage huge for survivability um so revitalization crystal was the first one that i picked up um you know we could use the soul compass but i i prefer to use that for arena the reason we want to use this one is it's going to help with the healing that um a lose going to be doing for the team so it makes sense there's no point in just picking up the soul compass for that um, i did pick up this horn of healing i've not I've only just picked it up though. So because of that, I've not invested in it yet or really tested it out to compare. But um, yeah, the revitalization crystal is pretty baller. So it's getting the job done for us. So this is everything set up. Let's try and do a run. And usually I will do idle battle, turn that off and uh, confirm it. But let's just do a run. I have no idea how strong this is going to be because obviously I've just laid an idle battle for x amount of time so we're probably going to just drop here but it'll be good to see how things work got these two flying whales um two flying robots as well and then these two basic knights they all look pretty basic to me um but obviously they are buffed to the teeth and look at that orthan is pretty much going down deja's down she's gone orthan's back up and poo coming in with some big hits um, but I don't, I feel like it's probably not going to be enough. Okay, we're down to two people. There's no way we're going to be able to two man this. But, you know, obviously, again, this is what happens. You hit a wall. And probably the next thing for me to progress through this would be to probably buff up my prototypes. So until my prototypes get stronger, even like even tempering gear will probably not be enough as much as um you know bumping up our prototypes the other thing is as well is that i have started to farm Terradome a bit harder and it's so up and down like one day i managed to get seven of these universal crystal shards the other day like i think three days in a row i've got two every day and that's like using is it like 24 24 stamina and i'm getting nothing I really feel like this needs to go from 15% to 30%. It needs to be a lot more consistent um, because Terra Dome is probably the worst out of all, all of these dungeons is by far the worst. But anyway, let's check out the builds and the gear. So we'll start with Anpu, the bringer of death. Um, this Jackal just, yeah, definitely, I think the most broken champion in the game. Um, and love this animation as well. So good. But anyway, so equipment. And we've got him in Surge and um, Hero Set. And yeah, just tempering everything out. We're looking for um, attack, crit rate, crit damage, and accuracy. So quite a lot of stats to hit. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, crit rate on the gloves. Would love for these to be crit damage. But um, yeah, it's so hard to do. So of course, always crit rate first. And then when you can sort of hit that crit cap of 100, then swap it out for crit damage. Um, helmet, we've got accuracy. And then we've got attack on the boots with a nice triple roll in attack. So total stats, we've got 1.2 million HP, 48k attack, um, 111 accuracy, 55 uh, crit rate, and like a very low 16% crit damage, but want to try and bump up as much as possible exclusive maxed out talents maxed out and i did go a little bit overkill there and potential as well yeah i mean for campaign you could probably get away with being just two level but um yeah obviously i went in hard because the all these are going to benefit us and really help 
with just like bosses and other stuff in the game. So Anpu, just everything that I have, I just put into him because he's just so worth it. And he's accessible as well. He's like one of those heroes that everyone can get, pick him up quite easily and start using him. So 100% worth. Um, Orthan as well, when he was released, I picked him up straight away. And he's, his gear is not even that tempered out, which is pretty crazy because he's really getting work done for us. So we're just looking for HP, uh, damage reduction and accuracy on him. We got HP on the gloves, HP on the helm, damage reduction on the boots. Oh, and we are in a opportunist um, set with Vigorious, no, yeah, Vigorious um, offset. Then we've got 2.1 million HP. I could probably, you know, I do need to start tempering his gear a little bit. It's just where he's so strong. I've not really had to buff him up that much, but it's it's on the to-do list. I will probably start doing that soon because he is god tier. Um, 37 accuracy, very, very low, but it's enough to get, you know, to get that cow control going at the moment. May change in the future. And then we've got 68.3 damage reduction. Um, exclusive maxed, talents maxed out as well. Again, for these champions, you champions, heroes, you definitely want to be doing that. And then we've just got summoners next. So let's go back to summoners. So Jax. So we've got him in a uh, extraction set. So this gives us HP. And when a summoner receives a critical damage, um, heals for 5% of max HP. So that's great. It's going to help us stay alive. And then we've also got Hawkeye as well because we need accuracy on him. Again, stats we're looking for. HP, accuracy, and damage reduction. Uh, gloves, HP. HP on the helm. And then damage reduction on the boots. So 1.2 mil HP, 71 accuracy, and then 62% damage reduction. Exclusive maxed and talents maxed out as well. So Deja, I know she's SP and well, we've got Mythic plus one. She is very, very replaceable. Any other summoner that can do insane damage can fill her boots. Um, this one, um, Amat, she's a great option. She's a great alternative. But, there, you know, and there's so many summoners in this game and so many of them can do damage. She's very, very replaceable. You can even probably bring in a different type of um, hero, like even Skino, the energy um, hero. He could fill this role, definitely, 100%. And also he provides a pushback as well while doing insane amount of damage. So we've got her in, um, what have we got? We've got Madness, which is giving us attack and summon and HP decay over time as well, plus um, Sun Signet as well for that uh, crit rate. So with her, we want crit rate, crit damage, attack, um, and that's it. <laughs> so crit rate on the gloves, just oh, not even a, just a single roll, um, attack on the helm, and then attack on the boots. Uh, weapon, only plus 20. I'm waiting for that event to come around so I can max this out. Again, that will probably help with uh, pushing through. And we're at level four for talents. Quite a way to go to get to level nine with her. And then last but not least, Alu. So Alu, I still, I need to learn more about her kit. Um, you can see we've only got two tempered pieces. And this is the only rebirth that I've got on the account. I barely have any. I'm working on it. I just don't have the tanks right now to sort of push through that content. But it, Rebirth is a god tier set. So definitely make sure that you can push for it. So you want HP, accuracy, and damage reduction. Defense is good as well if you can pick some up. So HP on the gloves, HP on the helm, and then damage reduction on the boots. 945k um, HP, 16 accuracy, very, very low accuracy. Pretty much pointless. Um, might switch out later if I can get some more HP because we're low on the HP. HP, I'd say we want, well, ideally like sort of one mil is a good starting place, but I'd like to push up to at least two mil. Um, and damage reduction, five, uh, 53%, very, very good. Oh, so we are now, ah, uh, 
So until we get to legendary plus one, we cannot. I know until we get to legendary, yeah, plus one, uh, we cannot forge that. So that's a bit annoying. Stuck there, and yeah, and we're down to five on the mast or on the talents. So that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope this helps you guys push through the story campaign, but also pick up those limited recruitment cards because the more you can get those, the faster you can progress with your count. And also you can just pick up some boss triple S heroes. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.